Hi guys, it's Erin with Red Carpet Report and tonight we are at the 2012 Do Something Awards here in beautiful Santa Monica on the blue carpet celebrating not only celebrities but folks just like you who are giving back. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? I'm Erin with Red Rock Carpet Catherine. Report. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look so beautiful tonight. Thank you so much. Very summery on such a hot day. Yeah. Not, very leger. Not a big deal. No like big wise. deal. I love it. I love it. Only a few more weeks we can wear them. Right. The, 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 the time is ticking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Do Something Awards, what brings you here tonight? Why is it important for you to be here? Oh, man. I mean, it's so easy to get swept up in sort of the glamour of Hollywood and not take time to sort of acknowledge those who've done good. Right. And so this is a great opportunity to do something awards to sort of get out there and give them some applause and some love and I'm all about it. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about some of the charities that you've worked with in the past or things that are near and dear to your heart. Oh, there's so many. Last night I actually had a charity event for Adopt a Classroom, fantastic organization. They basically pick classrooms that you get to select where you just put funds so they have more resources, the kids, the teachers, and yeah, give them back. So is it more important for you to do focus maybe on one type of charity, or do you think it's important to kind of help everywhere? Right. Uh, you got to sprinkle it around a little bit. I mean, uh, for me, I think it gets very basic. You know, when I think of charity, of course, you've got to give financially, but just being a good person, you know, taking a moment, stepping back, controlling the road rage and just giving some love and being a good person around I think makes a difference. You're such a personality and you we, are, we have grown to love you and, and all that you have to say. Um, what's coming up in your career? What, what are some of the new exciting things happening in your future? Oh, well, I'm pumped. I got VH1 and I have put together Miss You Much coming out. It's going to be coming after Best Week Ever okay. starting January 2013. It's fantastic. I'm basically interviewing people that we grew up watching. Right. Cast in 90210, Saved by the Bell. Uh, like what are they doing now kind of thing? What are they doing now, except we're also doing crazy activities together. So I'm getting in a tiny plane with Dave Coulier and not throwing up. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And are you going to end up having to, you know, maybe kiss one of your childhood crushes or something like that? I threw myself on so many of these people. I would do. They did not stand a chance. I kissed them. I really touched. I found out what their body fat percentage was. I got you always dreamed of it, you know, yes. growing up. Oh, my God. Last time I was watching them, you know, when I was watching Parker Lewis Can't Lose, I was a very awkward little girl. Now I get to get right in Corin Nemec's face and tell him exactly what he does to this girl and my privates. I love it. Well, you know what? You hear it all here, all the reality that there is to have. It was so great to speak to you. Have a great time tonight. Enjoy it and relax. And thank you so much for talking to us. Uh -huh.